Yes. Now we'll discuss about the mid palmar space of hand. This is clinically important space. It is situated on the medial half of the hollow of the palm. In this diagram, you can see here is this is distal palmar crease. This is distal from palmar crease. This is distal This is distal palmar crease. And here is this is separate napula. And here is position of the lumbrical canal. This is lumbrical canal. Here is web space. This is lumbrical canal. This canal is known as lumbrical canal. This mid palmar space is triangular in shape, present on the medial half of the hollow of the palm, and it extends from vertically, it extends from distal palmar crease to this is distal palmar crease from here. This is distal palmar piece from here to here to distal margin of flexor retina club. This is flexor retina club. So this is mid palmar space. If you put a transverse section at this level you will find here is fifth metacarpal here is fourth metacarpal here is third metacarpal here is second metacarpal here is First metacarpal. This is first metacarpal. Here are hypothenar muscle and here thinar muscle. These are thinar muscle and here is hypothenar muscle. This is fourth dorsal introsiae. This is Third, this is second, and this is first dorsal introsiae. This is dorsal introsiae. This is dorsal introsiae. Dorsal introsiae. Here are Palmar introsiae. This is first, second, third, and fourth palmar introsiae. This is palmar introsiae. First, second, third, fourth power industry. This is adductor hyalosis. This muscle is adductor 
Her bir şey. Adapter policies. This is adapter policies. This is adapter policies. Adapter policies. This must be adapter policies. Here is fascia covering this. This is fascia covering the thinner muscle, covering the hypothenar muscle. This is fascia. There is skin. And this is palmar eponrosis. Here is palmar eponrosis. From here to here, this is medial palmar septum. This is medial palmar septum. This is Medial palmar septum. Here this is lateral palmar. This is lateral palmar septum. This is lateral palmar septum. And here is intermediate palmar septum. This is intermediate palmar septum. This is intermediate palmar septum. This is intermediate palmar septum. And here is fascia covering these muscles. Here is fascia covering this muscle. Here, these are flexor digitorum superficial tendons. Here are flexor digitorum profundus tendon. Flexor digitorum profundus tendons gives origin to lumbrical muscle. Here is first lumbrical, here is second lumbrical, this is third lumbrical, here is fourth lumbrical. And here is position of tendon of flexor pollicis longus. This is flexor pollicis longus tendon. So from here to here, this area, this is mid palmar space and this area is thinner space. So now we will discuss about the this space, that is, this mid palmar space. Actually space is present here, space is here, this area is space. This is anterior boundary. And these structures form posterior boundary of this skin. So the space is here, this area. This is mid palmar space. So extension is here. It extended from distal margin of flexor retinaculum to distal palmar crease, and it communicates proximally with this space of perona and distally it communicate with the lumbrical canals. These are extension and communication. Now boundary of this mid palmar space, this space. Anterior it is bounded by these structures. This is palmar eponeurosis. This is palmar Palmar eponeurosis. This is palmar eponeurosis. Then 
long flexor tendon of this is middle finger this is ring finger for the middle finger for ring finger and for little finger these are flexor digitorum superficialis flexor digitorum profundus and second third fourth labrantals so these structures form the anterior boundary and these structures form the posterior boundary so posterior boundary is formed by third and fourth dorsal interstitial third and fourth palmar interstitial and fascia covering this it is medially bounded by this septum that is medial palmar septum and lateral it is bounded by this intermediate septum this is intermediate septum so these are boundary of this mid palmar space this is space and if this infected this space is infected then pus can be drained by making incision over the this space we are third or fourth bed space so this is all about the mid palmar space